Christ is worthy to be praised, glorified, and honored. And I ask you folks who are going to watch Michael W. Smith and Amy Grant, do their ministries honor Jesus Christ? When you look into their ministries, when you look into the depths of what they support, do they honor Jesus Christ? And when you find that they don't, will you continue to support their, their so-called ministries? Do you know that Jesus loves His people? Jesus loves His people so much that He sends people out to warn His people, to wake them up when they're sleeping. Mainstream Christianity in the United States of America is at large asleep. Asleep in the light, so to speak. We are amalgamated with the world, folks. Have you ever repented for the sins of America? Do you know God's heart concerning America? Donald Trump is not your savior. Neither is Hillary Clinton. These are not saviors. Donald Trump is not a Christian. Hillary Clinton is not a Christian. It doesn't matter, Republican, Democrat, all that is of the world. And the Bible is clear in 2 Timothy. As a good soldier of Jesus Christ, do not concern yourself with the affairs of this life. But yet we see, we see churches divided over politics, folks. Politics. These are not saviors, folks. The Bible says, Cursed is the man who puts his trust in, this, in the arm of the flesh. So you put your trust in a president, you're going you're gonna, to you're gonna fail every time. You're going to fall short every time, folks. There's something that Jesus hates. Something that Jesus hates in the book of Revelation, chapter 2. Does anybody know? Does anybody actually pick up your Bible and read it? I saw Bible. All right. So... The Doctrine of the Nicolaitans. Does anybody know what that is? Doctrine of the Nicolaitans. Whose deeds Jesus hates and whose doctrine Jesus hates. What is the doctrine and the deeds of the Nicolaitans, folks? Has anybody ever done a study on that? Anybody? Because if you did, you probably wouldn't be coming to this concert. The deeds and the doctrine of the Nicolaitans Jesus hates. Revelations chapter 2. There are two leaders in the ancient church that spoke on this, that believed that the doctrine of the Nicolaitans... The sir, please, don't preach the Bible at me. If you don't know what you're saying and you don't have any understanding of what that is... No, if you want to come have a discourse, sir, you can, but don't say something and walk off like you said something. Because we're here for you. You're so stubborn in your head that God has to send some foolish preachers out here to tell you the truth. Okay? The doctrine of the Nicolaitans, folks. Has anybody done a study on that? There are two ancient leaders of the church that, that believe that the doctrine of the Nicolaitans came from one of the deacons called Nicholas. You ever heard of Saint Nicholas also? Santa Claus? Saint Nicholas, Santa Claus? Why are we lying to our children about Santa Claus and we're not telling them about Jesus? They're going to grow up and, and they're going to be like, Mommy and Daddy lied to me about Santa. What about this Jesus? Folks, Christmas has nothing to do with Jesus. Study it out. Find the roots of where Christmas came from. Find out about Jesus' real true birth. And then forsake that wicked holiday because it's steeped in paganism. In fact, we have, eight, we have pagans that come up to us one, at, a, at a festival we went to a concert and they were like why do Christians constantly steal our holidays and I'm like I'm asking the same question why do Christians constantly steal pagan holidays I'm asking the same question to the pagans we meet they're absolutely right why do Christians steal pagan holidays that's a good question from pagans you can shake your head but you don't love the truth because if you love the truth, the Bible says that they were able to be deceived because they had not the love of the truth. They had a love of idols. They had a love of the doctrine of the Nicolaitans, but they did not love the truth. Oh yes, Jesus, I worship you. These people draw close to me with their lips, but their hearts are far from me, says the Lord. Their hearts are far from me. Why are our hearts... Why do people confess Jesus, worship Him, but their hearts are far from them because they're attached to the NFL, they're attached to the NBA, they're attached to CCM, idols like Michael W. Smith and Amy Grant, Hillsong, Joel Osteen, Creflo Dollar. You know, these are judgments on America to separate the sheep from the goats. Did you know that? 
And the people that love the truth will not follow these strangers. Because Jesus said, a stranger they will not follow. My sheep hear my voice. Jesus' sheep hear his voice. And a stranger like Joe Osteen, a stranger like Michael W. Smith, a stranger like Amy Grant, they can pose as a Christian, but Jesus' true sheep, who hear his voice and know his heart, will see the difference. Amen. That's what the Bible says. Strong meat belongs to those who, by reason of use, have exercised their senses to discern between good and evil. You don't get this preaching in your churches, I know. I know you don't get this preaching in your churches because you wouldn't be coming here if you did. You certainly wouldn't be coming here if you did. You're supposed to try the spirits to see whether they are from God. That's what the Bible commands us to do. Try the spirits. Don't just go off and everybody that says, Oh, I worship you, Jesus, and everybody that says, Jesus, Jesus, don't just assume that you can just go and fellowship with them. Try the spirits. So the doctrine of the Nicolaitans, it is said by two ancient Christian leaders that came from Nicholas, one of the de deacons. Now theologians don't agree on this, but this is one theory. One of the deacons named Nicholas in the book of Acts, okay, broke off. And one of the things that Jesus hate is the doctrine of Nicolaitans. What is the doctrine of Nicolaitans? Well, the, the, the name Nicholas means the conqueror of, of people. A conqueror of people. The doctrine of the Nicolaitans is having Jesus and indulging in the world. It's a doctrine of compromise. One side we say, Jesus, I love you, but then the other side we want to get drunk, we want to go to we want to worship the NFL, we want to worship the NBA, we want to worship Michael W. Smith and Amy Grant, false poser Christians. Look into their ministries. Look into their ministries, folks. Jesus Christ loves his people. And that's why he sends foolish preachers to come tell you the truth. So that maybe you might look into these things and come out of these things. Amen. I used to be into CCM music and all kind of foolishness when I was a baby Christian. But as, I, as Jesus drew me closer to him, he starts showing the faithful believer the difference between good and evil, light and darkness. Okay? Light and darkness, good and evil. Can you discern when you... Just because somebody says Jesus and they're taking advantage of you by, oh, buy my CDs, come, and, come to my concerts. Do you, know, do you know that Michael W. Smith's Rocket Town, who he's a founder of and still on the board of, they bring in satanic antichrist bands to perform at Rocket Town still? You guys know that? This is the, these are the people that you're going to support. People that support atheist, satanic bands. Folks, I know these things are hard to hear, but you have to wake up. Christmas has nothing to do with Jesus. Nothing. Study it. Find the history of Christmas. Jesus was not born on December 25th. Christmas came from the Catholic Church. Folks, you gotta you you can't you gotta find the truth, folks. You can't just go by the traditions of men. Dig, search, pray, ask God to open your eyes to the revelation of, of these things that are in the world that are taking his people away from him. They don't want to hear the truth. They're hard and they're hard. Oh, and they walk by and say, oh, they're hard and they're hard. No, not hard and hard. Got it. Oh. God bless you. See, there that's yourself. the spirit. That's Mockery. the spirit. That's Mockery. Mockery. Mockery spirit. That's a mocking spirit. Lord, help this woman. You don't agree. If you agreed, you wouldn't be going into Michael W. Smith. So the doctrine of the Nicolaitans is something that Jesus hates and the deeds Jesus hates. The doctrine of the Nicolaitans is simply this. Compromise with the world. Taking the grace of God for lasciviousness and loose living. Saying, oh, Jesus forgives me. He no, we don't know. Jesus has nothing to do with Christmas. I bet your parents lied to you and told you there's a Santa Claus too. So our Christian parents lie to their kids and say Santa Claus is going to bring presents, and then you wonder why they don't believe you about Jesus when you grow up. You wonder why? Because you're telling them about Santa Claus. 
That's a lie. I know that's an idol in your heart. Santa Claus is a lie. Why do we tell our children about Santa Claus and we don't sit down with them and teach them the Word of God? And you wonder why when they grow up in their atheistic public schools that they turn away from Jesus. You know there's so many teenagers turning away from God more so now today than ever. Do you know that, folks? But yet we keep having our Christmas Santa Claus. There he is right there on the bus. Oh, kids, Santa's going to bring presents. And we spoil our children with these things, but we don't give them the truth. We don't sit our children down and teach them out of the Word of God daily and pray with them and cry to God that Christ might be formed in them. No, we tell them about Santa Claus. We tell them about the Easter Bunny. We tell them about the Tooth Fairy. So when they grow up, oh, well, I found out that these things are true. What about this Jesus that my parents took me to church every Sunday? And you wonder why kids are falling away. On top of that, they got atheism in the public schools, evolution, and all kind of ungodliness on TV, internet, what, what parents aren't, aren't watching over. And you wonder why we're losing our youth. And so, what does Rocket Town do? Michael W. Smith has the solution. Let's bring satanic bands and occult bands so we can speak the language of the generation. You know an old preacher called Duncan Campbell? You smile, but it's true. Wake up. An old preacher called Duncan Campbell gave an analogy about that foolishness. If a farmer loses a cow in the mud, you're not going to go in the mud with the cow to pull him out. You'll drown with him. You stand on a rock and throw a rope to him. Because you got to stand on a rock. Bringing satanic rock concerts and satanic rap concerts into Rocket Town is not going to save anybody. The gospel of Jesus Christ is going to save. The gospel. Michael W. Smith doesn't understand the gospel of Jesus Christ. He's, he's taking advantage of making merchandise of you. Well, he lets satanic antichrist bands come into his rocket town, thinking that it's reaching the youth. No, the only thing that's going to reach the youth of this generation is the pure, unadulterated gospel. Stop teaching your kids about Santa Claus. Stop teaching your kids about Easter bunnies and tooth fairies. And tell them about Jesus. Teach them the word of God. Show them in this world. Watch out for that. That's of the devil. Watch out for that, children. Cry at your bedside for your kids that Christ would be formed in them. And then you won't need entertainment. Then you won't need to have satanic rock concerts coming to your church. This fires me up. This stuff fires me up. And you know what? Jesus hates it too. And you see it in the Word of God in Revelation chapter 2. When Michael W. Smith, a professing Christian, allows satanic and occult practices in Rocket Town and yoga festivals in the name of trying to reach the youth for Christ, that is the doctrine of the Nicolaitans, which deeds Jesus hates. Jesus loves the sinner. That's right. But the sinner must repent. You don't go and play antichrist rock music for the sinner thinking that that's going to draw them to Christ. That is not a biblical way. That is not a biblical way, folks. We can't serve God our way. We can't serve Jesus and have the world at the same time while we indulge in our violent movies and our sexual movies while we watch American Idol with our kids. Well, we let them indulge in YouTube and all kind of ungodliness that's on YouTube. Unadulterated. We just let our kids run free in our atheistic school, school system. We're not teaching them about creation science. Did you say American Idol? American Idol is wicked, ma'am. Oh, I thought it was pretty good, though. No, it's wicked. It has nothing to do with Jesus. How? Ma'am, if you were a godly person, you would have the Holy Spirit dwelling in you. And when you watch American Idol, the Holy Spirit will speak to you. Hey, this isn't of me. You shouldn't watch it. Just read scripture. Just read scripture. You got to it, sir. You got to live it out in your life. You cannot walk in the world and in Christ. You can't. I'm sorry. You just can't. Thank you. And this is why we have a lukewarm church. This is why we have a lukewarm church. 
because we've allowed the world to come in. You know in the ancient church, folks, church was for the believers, not for the world. They went out and preached the gospel, and they got saved and then came to church. Churches didn't have concerts and smoke machines and light effects to try to draw the world in so the pastor preaches to goats. Don't forget coffee houses. Oh, coffee houses. Six flags over Jesus, some ministers call it. Six flags over Jesus. We, we do. Well, We've been we're hit, here right spit now. on. We're here right now. We're, we're here right now. There's some people here that don't truly believe, and we do. We, we go to wicked concerts too, sir. But you need to wake up about this stuff here. You need to wake up. You won't have a conversation. I understand. There, there's many false converts here, sir. And you're probably one of them. Let me ask you, if you got saved by a repeat after me prayer, everybody that wants to get saved, raise your hand and repeat after me. And magically you're saved. No brokenness, no repentance, nothing. Just a repeat after me prayer and then you're in the kingdom. That is not the gospel, folks. Nowhere in scripture will you find a repeat after me prayer to get saved. It's repentance brokenness before a God, the revelation that you're going to hell and that you need Jesus Christ to save you or you're going to die in your sin. Jesus said, blessed are the, the poor in spirit. The poor in spirit. Michael W. Smith is an imposter. He's a false Christian speaking to false Christians. If you had an inkling of the Holy Spirit in your heart, those things would convict you. Every person I talk to that we know that has a genuine fellowship can tell the difference between false and true Christianity. You cannot call yourself a Christian. We don't have any stones, sir. And don't take that. We don't have any stones, sir. They were they had physical stones ready to stone that woman. But you know what Jesus said? Jesus said to judge righteous judgment. That's right. And then Paul wrote this. He said, Jeff, a, spirit, a spiritual man judges Jeff. all things as rightly judged Jeff, by Jeff. no man, sir. It's because of people like you that Jesus sends us out here to try to wake you up. But just like people don't want to wake up in the morning, they say, get out, let me roll over. You don't want to wake up. We want to have Jesus in the NFL. We want to have Jesus. Jesus has nothing to do with Christmas, sir. No, sir. Do you know where Christmas came from while you're walking tall? Why don't you look into the roots of Christmas? Why don't you do some studying if you want to know the truth about Christmas? I celebrated Christmas for years. Sir, you're going to have a lot higher volume in that Infinity Energy Arena while you worship Michael W. Smith and Amy Grant. Look at that. That's violence, sir. Look at that. You see that? I would never treat my daughter like that. Shame on you, sir. I bet you tell your kids about Santa Claus, too. Tell them lies from the world. Lord, I pray that that, that young lady grows up to be a woman of God. Amen. That that young lady grows up to be a woman of God, regardless of how that man treats her daughter. That's insane, man. <laughs> oh my goodness. Like we got drugs or something, man. That's nothing but the truth. The truth is like drugs. Wow, that man just yanked his... Don't talk to those men. <laughs> Why? Because you're scared that something might be exposed in your house? Exposed Disney. Michael W. Smith. Do you guys know about Michael W. Smith? Does anybody want to know the truth about Michael W. Smith or Amy Grant? Or the truth about this whole CCM industry? that people spend their hard-earned money on. Oh yes, they talk about Jesus, they lift up Jesus' name, but their hearts are far from Jesus. The doctrine of the Nicolaitans, folks, is a doctrine of compromise. A doctrine of, I'm going to say I'm a Jesus freak, I'm going to say I'm a Christian, but my heart is still with the world. My heart is still in the world, yet I say I'm a Christian. That is the doctrine of Nicolaitans. And in fact, there's been further studies that show that the doctrine of Nicolaitans gave rise to Gnosticism. 
And Gnosticism basically professes that Jesus was not the Christ as a man. And that we can become gods. That's what Gnosticism says. And that came from compromise with the world. Yes, he does, ma'am. Stop telling your kids about Santa Claus and tell them about Jesus. Pray with them. Pray with them. Because most Christian parents talk, talk, tell their kids that some magical demon is going to come and leave presents at their tree. The Christmas tree is a pagan idol. The Yule log is a pagan idol. It was used for human sacrifice. December 25th was not the birth date of Jesus. It was the Catholic Church that brought pagan practices into their Catholic organization and said, this is Christmas. What, what did the Lord speak to Jeremiah? It was a pagan holiday, folks, the birth of Apollyon. But yet, every year we say, oh, let's keep Christ in Christmas. He was never in Christmas. Never in it. Nowhere in the early church was there any Christmas, folks. And you know what? There's pagans that come up to us. Pagans that ask us, why do Christians steal our holidays? Pagans. And I, and I tell them, you know what? That's a good question. Why? Why do Christians steal pagan holidays? Well, you can thank the Catholic Empire for that. Amen. Lord rebuke that. Lord rebuke that. Paganism. That's what it is. The Catholic Pope is a pagan. He's a, he's, he's a Jesuit priest. Do you know what the Jesuit priests were hired to do? The Jesuits were hired to take out King James because the real word of God was about to be published. The Jesuits have been trying to steal the word of God from you. Folks, y'all need to find the truth. Christians, wake up. There is a devil out here trying to steal your salvation. The devil walks about seeking whom he may, whom he may devour. Oh, but I confess the Lord. I repeated a prayer. Folks, we're out here on the love of God for His people. Because we love God's people. Amen. But Jesus said, Those who I love, I rebuke and chasten. Be zealous, therefore, and repent. Amen. Yes, ma'am. We're being a nuisance? How? Or vaccinated. Okay. So is my mom. So was I. So I got born again. Do you know, can, can you have a conversation? Okay, I'll just tell you. Catholicism has so much false doctrine in the catechism, it doesn't line up with the Bible. Transubstantiation is not in the Bible. Nope. The wafer does not turn into the, to the actual presence of Jesus. Nowhere in the Bible does it say you have to go to a priest to get forgiveness. Nowhere. Nowhere in the Bible is the term Pope cardinal anywhere the catholic church persecuted genuine biblical christians yep. for hundreds and hundreds of years yep and they still do they spearheaded a movement to corrupt the the, the true word of god the catholic church did they spearheaded a movement to corrupt the word of god So if you follow the Pope, what does the Pope say? That we're all children of God. The... Oh no. Ma'am, I'll pray for your soul. Amen. My mother, I, I cry for my mom and my dad before the Lord. But I'm telling you, if you're following the Pope, you're gonna you're gonna be part of this one world system one day. The Pope thinks that all religions, all faiths, should come together as one. It's called ecumenism. Sounds like the Beatles. Ecumenical movement, folks. And guess what? People like Joel Osteen, uh, Peter Warren, uh, Peter, Wag uh, Peter Wagner, Peter Wagner, uh, the, pros the Purpose Driven Church guy, Rick Warren, Rick Warren, Steve Furtick, Pete Jakes. All these people have gone to the Vatican now and kissed the Pope's hand and said, "We're going to work with you." Kenneth Copeland. Kenneth Copeland too. Uh, Christians need to wake up! Louis Giglio, Atlanta's Louis Giglio. Folks, you need to wake up! 
You're out here saying we're a nuisance, but we're crying aloud like a trumpet, like Jesus told us to. Tell my people their transgressions. Stand on that wall. Stand on the wall and cry aloud to the sleepy Christians below so that they might wake up. No, thank you. I'm, I'm saying. Are you sure about that? Are you sure about what you're doing? Are you, I'm very sure, ma'am. Are you sure about the spirit behind uh, Michael W. Smith? Are you sure Christians, about, wake are you up. Sure about the spirit behind Amy Grant? Turn away from your wicked ways. Cleanse your hands. Exactly. Double-minded Christians, cleanse your hands, as the book of James says. Stop flirting with the world. Stop drinking. Stop getting drunk. Stop your fornication. Stop your pornography. Stop your idolatry of Santa Claus and Tooth Fairies and Easter Buddies. Stop it, folks. Jesus wants all of you, not just part of you. He wants your whole self. You can't pretend in front of the living God. There's many people who walk by can't even take what we're saying. What are you going to do when you stand before Jesus? You know what Jesus said? There are going to be many that call me Lord, Lord. And he's going to say, depart from me. I never knew you. But their whole life, that's what the Bible says. Don't you read your Bibles? Does anybody read their Bibles or they just listen to a purpose-driven life? Does anybody actually read their Bibles? These are serious things, folks. Jesus said it. Not everybody that calls me Lord, Lord shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. But they that do the will of my Father. They that do the will of my Father, which is in heaven. Is the will of the Father in heaven for you to go support a man who allows wicked, occultic, satanic, antichrist music into his concert venues? Or to go support a woman who commits adultery and lives in it? Jesus sent us out here, folks, to wake you up. Because he's coming back soon, folks. And he's coming back for a bride without spot or blemish. If you follow the Pope, you are deceived. Because the Pope is a deceiver. The Pope is a deceiver. Yes, he is. And anybody that says all of us are children of God, you can get to God, Muslim, Hindu, they're all the same. Is that right? Oh, please. <laughs> I can tell you what Jesus hates. I'll show you the scriptures. He hates your pride. He hates your pride. I can tell you that right now. Yes, yeah. he does. And what are you doing with that love? And you're a false You're father. trampling on his love and cheating on him. Jesus does love everybody. But he hates the doctrine of the Pope. I can tell you that right now. Because the Pope says that Jesus is not the only way, the truth, and the life. Woo. That's what the Pope says. And you say he's a great guy, so that makes you an enemy of Christ. I'm all preaching. And guess what? If you're an enemy of Christ, he loves you in this earth. And he sends out his preachers to tell you the truth, that you might repent. And that love is going to turn into hatred when you die if you're not born again. You're a mocker, ma'am. This is the truth. I'm not. I'm cheering because it is for you. Oh, okay, amen. But do you know about Michael W. Smith? Yes, sir, we do. Do you know about Rocket Town? Yes. Do you know what he allows in Rocket Town? No, we don't. Come on. Well, you need to find out. Check out those scripts. See, that's what I'm saying. False converts. Tell me. Show us in the scripture. Show us. That's what we're doing. I don't have to take this out. Then show me how it's done. Come here. Come on. Show me how it's he just he just cursed. Wow. False convert, man. You you need to repent. You need to repent, sir. You need to repent. You need to repent. You have a wicked spirit inside of you. You have a wicked. I believe in you and you and you. Then turn to Jesus and be saved. I believe in you, buddy. Turn to Jesus and be saved. Turn away from Satan, sir. God loves you and he wants to save you. But worship the people. Take that microphone off and talk to people like people.
And we do. We open air preach and we talk to people. You need to turn to Jesus, sir. That's not going to be an excuse when you stand before God. If you want to come have a conversation, come on. I'll take it off if you want to talk. Then come talk to me. Because you're threatening me. Not you, ma'am. Y'all need to wake up about Michael W. Smith. Don't just go and give your money to him. Because you're giving your money to Rocket Town at the same time. Ooh. The Bible says that repent and believe the gospel. How many people got so-called saved after a repeat after me prayer? Repeat after me prayer. And then you so-called backslide and then you come back to church and backslide and come back to church because you were never born again. There is a lukewarm church in America, folks, that needs to be stirred up. This commercial Christianity, God hates. I'm telling you right now. Read your scriptures. Find the root. The Bible says to test the spirits. You're a Christian. You're responsible to test the spirit. Test the spirit of Michael W. Smith's ministry and Amy Grant's ministry. Test the spirit to see whether they are from God. Don't just give yourself to it because your flesh feels good. Jesus said, "Ye through the uh, Paul wrote, ye through the Spirit mortify the deeds of your flesh. John wrote, try the spirits to see whether they are from God. There are many antichrists that have gone out. Even the devil himself masquerades as an angel of light. The devil masquerades as an angel of light. So why are we going after every person that says they're Jesus or Christian? Because of, the, <clears throat> because of the lust of flesh, lust of the eyes, and the pride of life. God wants everybody to see. The Bible says that strong meat is for those who by reason of use have exercised their senses to discern between good and evil. Can you tell the evil in this ministry or no? Can you see it? Do you research what you're sending your children off to? Or do you just send your, your children anywhere, anywhere they can go? Because it says it's Christian. It's true what Peter wrote, that these people make merchandise of you. And Jesus said, my people love to have it so. My people love to have these false Christians preach to them a, a silly message of a false gospel while we give them money to support them. My people love to have it so, the Bible says. My people love to have it so. But the doctrine of the Nicolaitans, Jesus hates. The deeds and the doctrine of the Nicolaitans, Jesus hates. And that doctrine is a doctrine of compromise. Hey, you can be homosexual and be saved. Hey, you can be a fornicator and be saved. Hey, you can be an idolater and be saved. You can be saved and hold on to your NFL idolatry and your NBA 